welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking, guys. Um, as you know, um, I am your host, Darian Graves. I mean, you know that. Yeah, not bad. You know that by now. Sorry, my speech is a little wee wee today. Um, uh, anyways, um, so I hope your day is going great. Um, it. Uh, uh, I just really hope your day is going great. Sorry, I'm kind of having a hard time right now thinking. But uh, the reason I haven't made any episodes lately is because um, I've been thinking a lot and I've had some stuff going on. So I haven't really, I haven't really made an episode. But you know, I there will be more episodes common now. I that thinking is kind of over with now. But um. Anyways, um, I'd like to get to the point. Um, uh, uh, not, not very many of you people watching or listening to this know who this person is, um, but I just want y'all to know how great of a person she was and how important she was to me. Um, um, today I'm kind of... <clears throat> dedicating this episode to my great grandma the the greatest great grandma that is could ever be um i don't know i just wanted y'all to know how great she was and um sorry there's something creepy behind me <laughs> but uh so her name was helen helen ward Helen Ruth Ward, um, you know, like Babe Ruth, yeah, 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 okay, that was, that was done, I'm sorry, anyways, um, first of all, um, I don't know if my grandma is watching this, not my great, but my, my normal grandma, I don't know if she's watching this, but as I stated at the funeral today, she is the best, she took care of of people that she didn't even have to or have to take care of or they didn't deserve to be taken care of. She still did it anyway because she cared about them. She loved them um, even when they didn't deserve it. But uh, that's one thing I want to point out. And also, I didn't, I didn't point out today at the funeral that she, she was the most honest person I had ever met and that I'm not just saying that that comes that is coming from my heart she really was the most honest person that I have ever met in fact I don't remember a single lie she told me I don't maybe she told me about Santa Claus but that's not really it's not really a lie. That's just something that makes us happy. It makes us kids happy. It's not... So, you know... Uh, but she never lied to me. I don't... I don't remember a single lie she ever told me because there never was one. But, um... I also, uh... She was... For half of my half of the time she knew me, she was my mom basically. For the time I lived with her, and for half of the time, half of the other time, she was the greatest, greatest great grandma I could ever have. Um, she was just that person. She she could take care of anything. She always helped people. That's the main thing I like about, I loved about. Her. She helped people, anybody. If they were a criminal, she would still help them. Um, if I were in a car wreck, she would be there to help somehow. She would still be there. I don't understand how she just helped. She wouldn't stop either. It was like insane. Sometimes I just wanted to tell her to stop helping. But she just helped everybody. And honestly. And they didn't even deserve it. And... She never expected anything in return. She was a very quiet person too, though, which I don't, I don't mind that. You know, um, she 
and um, she was just a quiet person, but you know, that's good in a lot of ways. Um, you don't talk nonsense all the time like I do. Um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, I talk a lot of nonsense actually, but um, she uh, she was just one of those people that you will never meet again. It, at least you won't meet a person as great as her again. Um, I may, but I don't think I will. She was just that great. But, um, she, she took care of everyone. I know I keep saying that, but she did. I don't know how she did it. You know? I, and, um, you know, I don't know, but... I kind of wish um, she could have made it to her birthday, which was uh, June 8th. Um, she uh, she died on May 26th um, of this year, of course. Well, no, no, duh. <laughs> See, that's the nonsense I say. Like, no, duh, she died today. Or, er, not today. God. Okay. She died, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. But, um, I just wish that she could have made it to her birthday. It wasn't very far away. Um, I think she was either, she was either 80? Because she was born in 1936. So she was either 82 or 83. Yeah, 83. Maybe even 84 or 82. I, I don't know. But she was around that age, and I just wish she could have made it longer, but, you know, and I feel insanely bad because I hadn't seen her in months because of corona, and plus I never, when I could see her when corona wasn't around, I didn't, and I'm a, I know, I I'm insanely, I'm, I wish I wouldn't have done that, I wish I would have gone and seen her every day, every chance that I could, but I didn't, sorry, my foot was, felt like it was losing circulation there, but anyways, but yeah, I just wish that I could have had one more minute, one more second with her, but, it was months away, and, you know, I knew her time was coming, but I just didn't know it was coming then. But that is why I want to tell y'all right now, spend every single minute with your family that you can. And don't ever wish you were dead, or don't ever wish that they were dead. Because soon, they will be. So don't, don't say that. I hate it when people say that. Because you don't get... You take time for granted, and then you just, you don't ever get to see them again, and it breaks your heart, but I think I'm going to let y'all go now. I just want to let y'all know how great of a great grandma I had, and I just wanted her to know what I thought about her, because I know up from heaven she's listening right now, most likely, most likely, um, I just want y'all to know that, but, um. And I wanted her to know that. But I'm going to let y'all go. So, adios.